like to talk about this mummy movie. The Mummy, starring Tom Cruise, Russell Crowe, Sophia Boutella, and Annabelle Wallace. The story of a archaeologist, is he? In the previous name is archaeologist. Or adventure seeker, or I don't know, whatever he is. Searching for treasure, stumbles across this 5,000 year old tomb, recklessly releases the mummy within, and then all hell breaks loose. If you don't know, The Mummy is the first of the Dark Universe franchise by Universal that is going rebooting and modernizing a host of, of monster movies. Uh, when I found out it was going to be a whole universe and all these monster movies going to be tied in together, I got, I got even more excited about this movie coming out because I'm like, this movie's either going to make or break this universe. And seems like it's going to break it. The movie itself, the movie kind of just flatlines. It's not really suspenseful. It's not really horror. The mummy, she was a little lackluster. Like, she was so powerful that we know how this movie should end. But about halfway through the movie, we know how it's going to end. The comedic relief, Tom Cruise's buddy, first 15, 20 minutes that he was in the movie, it, it was cool. They were, you know, kind of cool. He was funny. It brought some relief to what was supposed to be a dark movie. But, see, the thing is, I won't see that, say there can only be one comic, comedic relief, but you can't have the comedic relief being overbearing because his comedy, just the way they wrote the character, almost everything he said was supposed to be funny. But then they tried to make Tom Cruise have comedic relief as well. And it just, a lot of the comedy and jokes seemed forced and didn't work. The, I think the writing was not good. I was trying to like it, but it just kept pushing me away. Like, it would almost get me there, and then I'd be like, no, you don't want to like me. Like, damn it, you almost had me. <sighs> don't do that. And then it would try to pick up, it would try to pick up, and I'd be like, oh, cool. I'm almost there, and then it would stop, or it, then it would do something dumb, or then they would have a, a stupid joke that didn't need to be there. <sighs> and it just kept losing me. I feel like this movie suffered from making the antagonist too strong. There was no real horror as aspect to it. You know, I feel like a lot of horror movies suffer from overuse of CGI. In the past, with the old Dracula, the old mummy, they had to use their ingenuity and creativity. And that came across the screen because it's like, man, this stuff could really happen. This is crazy. This is, or not really happen, but this is, it looks real. Whereas now it's like, it just looks fake. I will say this, when it was being just a monster movie, minimal CGI, it was just Cruz and Annabelle and Batella and Russell Crowe or whomever was on the screen and they were just interacting together with no CGI and it was just being a monster movie, it shines. That's when it was, a good movie. Too bad it didn't have too many of those parts. Russell Crowe shined in the role of Dr. Jekyll. Jekyll, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. If The Mummy doesn't kill this whole uh, franchise reboot before it even gets started, I look forward to seeing um, Russell Crowe reprise that role because every time he was on screen, it was electrifying. It's electrifying! The battle between himself and himself, the battle between Jekyll and Hyde within him, Great. The best fight scene in the movie involved Russell Crowe, which, so that was a little weird, but yeah, Russell Crowe, he he made this movie a decent movie. I feel like they, they wrote The Mummy. They wrote her, the way they wrote her just wasn't good. Not, yeah, the monsters don't need to talk. That's what kind of make monsters monsters. The, they, they create fear by action not by talking. It's a lot of stunts they actually did, and I respect Tom Cruise for that. A lot of stunts they actually did. And the plane scene that they did with Zero Gravity, that jump was so dope. I loved the way it was shot, the camera angles, it was really cool. So I enjoyed that scene the most in the whole movie. Overall, this movie isn't a terribly bad movie, but it's not terribly good either. I would say you can skip this one. There's no need to go see this one. Or you can just wait to Redbox. I'm gonna give this movie 
a C minus. But that's just my opinion. You can go see the movie and think whatever the hell you want to think. When I first saw the previews, I was like, man, they got a white woman to play this mummy. But I was like, she doesn't look white. So let me see what she is. She's Algerian, but still, it's Egypt. It can be a little darker, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. In my opinion, it's not better than the Brendan Fraser mummy. And you're going to compare it to that mummy. And it might be nostalgia. I'll review that and watch that again eventually. But it might be nostalgia, I, I admit. But it doesn't matter. It's not better. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you have been following me, uh, my Facebook page is up. You can get to the links on the banner on my YouTube channel. Facebook is up. Um, I'm still doing some tweets here, though. Twitter is up. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I get behind the scenes stuff on Snapchat. I post my thumbnails and, and stuff first on Instagram. So want the whole experience follow me on social media I will really appreciate it and thanks guys watch my videos slight has reached a hundred views so it's uh that's still exciting and um